So here at Grand Valley, we have a Master's of Science in Medical Dosimetry program. We are JRC ERT accredited, so that means when you graduate from our program, you are eligible to sit for the MDCV board exam and become a certified medical dosimetrist. Since we have our non-clinical Eclipse treatment planning software, we actually get to incorporate proton planning into our didactic classes, and it gives them a more hands-on clinical sense to our training. We're not just training and teaching the didactic information. We start our clinical education, our didactic courses, and the research project on day one. Dosimetry is moving towards evidence-based medicine, where we are not just testing things on our own. We're really starting to learn that it's better to look at those journal articles and being able to read them and interpret them and incorporate that into your own practice. So here at Grand Valley, that's what our research project is doing. It's preparing our students to be able to not only perform it, but have a really good understanding so that we're in the clinical world, they have the skill set to be able to look up those articles, look up that research, and are comfortable incorporating that into their own practice. So it's a 12-month program, so our students start in the fall semester, and it's a cohort program, so they move together continuously through the program, and then they graduate at the beginning of August. We are considered a hybrid program. Our students live near their clinical sites, which can be all across the United States, and then they come to Grand Valley only one time in person for our orientation. What we do is we have it set up in weekly modules where everything, lectures are recorded, there's PowerPoints, there's assignments that are built into it to be hands-on and engaging. All of our students get to meet each other, become friends, and they do <laughs> study groups, and everything is built to make it cohesive and really become a cohort, which you don't usually find in an online program. Grand Valley was a lot more flexible with their part-time program to where I'm able to still work about 20 to 30 hours a week and still provide for my daughter and myself. Part-time students are doing all their didactic courses on the 12-month schedule with their cohort, but we allow them to slow down the part-time for their clinical education. They can do a minimum of 16 hours a week, full-time is 32 hours a week. I've been a radiation therapist for 10 years, decided to go back to school for a master's degree in medical dissemetry. Grand Valley State University made the most sense. I have a wife and two little boys. It just seemed like a logical decision since I'm able to do the part-time option. I can do my clinicals for 16 hours a week and then work two 10-hour shifts so I can keep my benefits, my seniority at my clinic. Students are watching recorded lectures when they have their own free time, when it works for their schedule, and we typically are only meeting once a week synchronously online for those discussion-based classes, and so that allows them to potentially continue working as a therapist. Um, some students are working as a CT tech, and then it gives them time to be able to work with their family and their kids' schedule too. So with the professional learning credit, I was able to take my work experience in the field of dosimetry and I was able to apply for the professional learning credit through GVSU. So the professional learning credits are really new to our program and it's a great opportunity for radiation therapists who have been working and cross-training into dosimetry. And if they meet certain hour requirements and competency requirements, we can give them college credit for that work experience that they've gained. Not only has it allowed for my education to meet me where I'm at clinically, but it's allowed me to have the flexibility to continue to work while I pursue my master's degree. So most of our students here at Grand Valley do have a background in radiation therapy. We do not require it. We do have prerequisites though that are radiation therapy courses. I chose the medical dosimetry program at Grand Valley because I did not get my undergraduate degree in radiation therapy and the program at Grand Valley allowed me to basically be on a little bit of a different course than everyone else so I took a year of prerequisites just to prepare myself and get familiar with the field and now I'm able to sit in in the program with everyone else like normal and get the same degree. So you would take those radiation therapy courses here at Grand Valley for two semesters, and then you would be able to start the dosimetry program didactic curriculum. 